Yeah, like, we started doing this thing where we'd, like, we take cocaine and we put it up our butts, right? And it started a thing in the band, and it really got popular. You know, we'd get with, you know, all the famous bands, you know, ACDC, uh, Coldplay. You know, we just stick stuff up our butts. <laughs> They had some of the most iconic songs and performances over any other band in the world. And seemingly one ruined it all. Yeah, we had some pretty good times with Smeagles. And some bad ones too. Our first paid gig, man, that was years ago. It was gonna be this big outdoor event and they were gonna pay us like five hundred dollars. How we were so excited. <laughs> we were never able to find the stage and Johnny got kicked out of the venue for bringing in all of his snakes. So we played acoustic covers of advertisement jingles in the McDonald's parking lot to some grungy little kids on acid who turned out to be the sons of the most powerful music producer in the entire industry, Mr. Flax Rockford. Yeah, I know what I like and I know. But as soon as I heard the Smigels, I knew they were going to be a fucking smash hit. Big! I'm talking real fucking big. Because I know what I like. And anything I like is going to be a smash hit. The bloody fucking Smigels. Oh, a reunion? Yeah, I'd love to get the band back together, tour again, release that final album that we never finished. I'm not that interested in music anymore. Um, I can't remember the last time I even picked up an instrument. But nowadays I'm really interested in these Russian dolls. I think I have one somewhere. See? I haven't seen any of them since 1999 and Honestly, I don't see that changing anytime soon. I remember 1996. Or sold that show Madison Square Garden. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And she gave birth right there to my song. I mean, to our song. Yeah, she sure did, man. And that baby's named after you. Incredible. Incredible. Things happen, man. We were the voice of our generation. Like Fleetwood Mac, but without the Mac. I think everybody knows why we broke up. People still come up to me and ask me about the 1999 show. Some things. That people are just not so forgiven about these days. Nah, not at all, man. They never let it go. It ruined our reputation. More than that. Killed us, killed us man. Destroyed us. Yeah, I, I don't think a, a reunion would work out. Why? What really happened with all of you guys? The song... The song was not well responded to, I guess. Yeah! F All I want for Christmas is your two front teeth! Kick out of your f***ing skull! You stupid f Tried to eat live goldfish at a party! This is a Christmas party! You're supposed to drink eggnog until you barf! You stupid f face! Teeth are rotting anyways, head. It was considered the worst holiday song ever. A disgrace to the most wonderful time of the year. Alright guys, I've been looking from the back and all I have to say is that I DON'T F***ING LIKE IT! What the f- I don't get what's happening! You just don't get it! Shut the f*** you! F*** you and your accent. Yeah. 
it was just one bloody fucking song. Didn't support it, didn't like it. Olga wrote it. Thought it was fucking shit. It's the end of the band. If it up to me, it wouldn't have gone down. Wouldn't it have gone down, I'm telling you. Fucking bagels. Idiots. Should have listened to mine. Can you explain your side of it? No way. I said under no circumstances would I ever to f just f talk about it. I'm I'm f done. And then we left the record company, fired Flax. Things just got out of control. The partying was crazy. <laughs> it sure was. I mean, we were just at that high point of fame. There was no stopping us. Nah, people loved us. They sure did, man. Phenomenal. Things were... Things were doomed from the beginning. Whether you liked it, loved it, or if you were disgusted by it, the Smiggles stole Christmas that year, and a place in the history of iconic bands who changed the world.